just on the 5th of January 2024, Belamundi tied the knot with one business tycoon, one very rich man. Yes. So it took most Ghanaians by surprise and Charlie, I'm on for a mom who joins a mom who call Akodi Jollofs. So I found a con. Yes. So if you think you would go there to go get some Jollofs and eat on that faithful day, Charlie, I'm far. Because the thing, it was done in privacy. So they didn't uh, make, it wasn't made known to the public as, you know, most celebrities have been going about declaring they'd have some flashy kind of wedding and code so that they flaunt things and though this guy is very rich they did none of those things they never made it known to the public but then hey they said no pictures no videos no take pictures and videos under the wedding ceremony but then paparazzi is their more chrome so people have managed to bring forth some pictures and videos of which you see on your screen yes they've managed to bring these videos and pictures out so that people will indeed know that they are not just saying yes indeed bella actually did got married on the 5th of January 2024. Yes, yeah, so Ghana Web published this. That quite astonishing to Ghanaians when it came to Lamlight that to like it was quite astonishing to Ghanaians when it came to light that prominent media personality and an employee of Media General Bella Mundi has tied the knot with David Debbie in private wedding ceremony. So it was a private wedding ceremony, like I stated. So the wedding, which was not publicized as it usually happens with celebrities called shockwaves in the country, as people were yearning to know more about David Debbie, who happens to be the lucky man to have married Bella Mundi. So uh, according to the page, they said this gentleman is in the late 30s, so he's per information on his linkedin account he had his college education in lincoln school in london an institution that is well known globally for its academic exploit so he also further went to tertiary and had his tertiary education level education level where he attended atlantic river university in canada and that was when he bagged his first degree and he also served as operations manager for barbex group for 12 solid years which helped him booster his managerial skills and so according to saucy he has two million us dollars in his account so which he also owns some luxurious cars but then they say his favorite is um that's Rolls royce i don't know how they were able to manage to know that his favorite is Rolls royce he also boasts of impressive real estate so a gentleman is also not a business that is also into real business and so he said he has some business uh has about impressing real estate business featuring seven state-of-the-art machines strategically across the country so they tied a knot on the 5th of january 2023 but then yes white fire Lab was trying very hard to break the guinness world record that was the time that bella thought that is why this is actually the perfect time for me to you know go and marry because the whole attention is on Fire because Ghana they, they've decided that we are going to do single ton, cooker ton, then all the ton stores in the world. So it's like, oh, since I did this is the perfect time for me to also go and marry. So, yes, indeed, Bella Mundi is off the market. They did a private wedding ceremony. They said, no pictures, no taking of pictures, no taking of videos. But then the paparazzi have managed it, they've maneuvered and they've been able to bring us some pictures and images which we share with you on the screen. So you've seen them on the screen. So, yeah, it was a nice wedding. It was a beautiful wedding. They heard, yes, the, the, the dressing and the Charlie, the atmosphere alone can tell you that. Charlie Norma course well, well, a whole lot of things did happen that yes. So if this is your first time of visiting our channel, I'm pleading with you to do us a favor by smashing on that subscription button you see on the screen, like the video, and also share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Until then, may God be with you. I'm out.